Hello there, Reject Nation. My name is Greg Alba. My name is Jonald Humphrey. It's another night after Greg has a big dinner, takes a shower, is ready to go to bed, finds out a Men in Black International trailer dropped, Ooh. trying to capitalize on all that Marvel action happening this weekend with Valkyrie and Thor. Speaking of which, if you guys can go check out our Avengers Endgame non-spoiler review, we are extra, extra careful about making sure we don't spoil jack about it, primarily to share our feelings on the film. Also, I want to thank everyone who watched it because there's a three minute opening sketch there, We're getting a ton of praise for what we did for it. It's the last sketch that we are doing while living together in this apartment. I want to thank everyone who's already watched it. And if you haven't watched our review, go check it out. And if you don't even want to watch the review because you're trying to stay clear of any opinions, just watch the opening sketch. That'll make us feel even the happiest. Wow, they're doing this reaction just to promote their Avengers Endgame video. What? what? Promotion? Us? Other, other Never. videos? When did we oh, ever promote God, anything? let's watch make this. Make a super cut. Let's watch this trailer, which All is, of our I think Men in Black is actually from a Marvel property, isn't it? Come on. Well, there's nothing to say with stuff. I'm driving. And a commercial for cars. Oh, cool. Ooh. We are the best kept secret in the universe. I know. I want him. You erased my parents' memories, but you didn't get mine. It took me 20 years to find you. Oh, how interesting. How many people can say that? I like the care. I found you. Ah. <laughs> I'm already liking this trailer yeah, a lot like more than the last one. one. <laughs> wow. <Ooh>. Shazam! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean... That will be a mistake. MIB, you can really a scum. FYI, your little club here sucks. Come on. Well, it's not going Cool. Wait, are you a queen? That's adorable. Really? Ooh. Whoa. Men in black has been compromised and trusts no one. I thought Will Smith's the Whoa. genie was gonna pop out I, there. Get <laughs> <laughs> you know, the noisy cricket. No, all that stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, one more thing. Download and follow us on the Stardust app. Over there we do 30 second reaction reviews for any film, TV show, and or trailer. You can post your own reactions over there as well. We officially have 500 Stardust posts after uh, covering Avengers Endgame. We'd love it if you follow us today. The whole thing's completely free to download and use for the rest of your life. At least that's what they're telling us. Let's talk about this. I thought this trailer was so much better than the first one. Because uh, yeah. if you guys saw a reaction to that one, we weren't like big fans of it. It's kind of like whatever it's not about that yeah. this trailer i felt they did show us more it took its time more too it's kind of a long trailer actually two minutes 50 it's seconds minutes, yeah. yeah i feel like we actually got a taste of what's really gonna make this one work yeah i mean I, this one really brought me more of the intrigue and more of the discovery that men in black the first time brought around and, and that came out in so many different ways whereas in the first trailer it just felt like oh it's kind of a comedy that's sort of men in black yeah. it's referential to men in black it's wearing the suit but it's not really embodying it and this trailer have more of that for me. It's not being lived in. 
through its suits. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I think a lot of that comes with a cool backstory with Tessa Thompson. Not like her backstory is like the coolest thing in the world, but I actually do like that concept of, yeah. what are they called? The neuralizers? The neuralizer. Yeah, the neuralizer of how it erased her parents' memory, but she just happened to be there. And, and you would think and about that sometimes. Her. Like, wouldn't there be like some people who just happened to? It's like yeah. it's based off a plot hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so I like having that concept and, the, and that whole thing of I found you talking to uh, whatever, you know, Nanny McPhee's character or was in Men in Black the, the, the replacement for Zed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That it made it it made that so much stronger for me. Cause in the first trailer I was like, oh cool, she's like really capable and really yeah. excited about this. But I didn't really get why it was that important to her. And then this really conveyed that to me. And the first trailer felt like they were trying to pitch this more as like still the dude movie, like the buddy. men in black movie. Yeah. But this one felt more like Chris Hemsworth is actually more the supporting character. Tessa yeah. Thompson's the lead. And I like their dynamics here a lot. I actually liked the self-awareness and some of the humor with it, more of its like feminist comedy. When she goes to like go in the driver's seat, uh, yeah. like I'm driving, but then I like the, the punchline to the joke that, oh, it's actually they're in London in the steering wheels. No, yeah, because like, it's uh, actually clever. Oh, yeah. It's actually clever. Or, or even like with Chris Hemsworth's incredible comedic delivery of We Are the Men in Black. Men, men and women, women in, in black. black. He turns yeah. around and gives a thumbs up. That looks very funny. Yeah. It doesn't just feel like Thor and Valkyrie, basically. Yeah. He, he kind of feels like a mixture of Ragnarok Thor meets a little bit of Ghostbusters. Yeah, <laughs> Chris totally. Hemsworth. It's his new It's his new brand. Yeah, whereas <laughs> Tessa Thompson feels doesn't feel like Valkyrie to me at all here. No, you know, and that's yeah. like the thing that's weird to me about this is it seems like Chris Hemsworth is kind of getting molded into this type right now or maybe he and just like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm still having a fun time with it and it seems like maybe he likes playing it too. Whereas Tessa Thompson, I really appreciate that even though she's acting on this scale doing all these huge profile movies, it seems like she plays a relatively wide variety of characters True. within those roles. I mean, you True. know, they've all got spunk in some way, but this doesn't remind me of a lot of her other roles. And so I don't don't, yeah, again, just feel like I'm watching Valkyrie or something like that. Or True, know. true. I noticed there's a lot less Liam Neeson in here. <laughs> I can't pinpoint why. I was... Is there something that he did in his personal life that he know. unnecessarily revealed I that kind of put him in a bad light? Because he was in the first trailer a lot. Um, hmm. No, I haven't read one thing about him recently at, at, at all or had many arguments about it with family and friends and alienated people in my life. I, I did hear, I did hear something. What? You didn't tell me? Why? His, his last movie didn't perform so well. That's, oh, that's, what, that's why. the one about where he's killing people in the snow. Yeah, but that's... That was surprisingly but, you know, good. But Liam Neeson would never even have the thought of doing that. No. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Camille Nagiani is the new puppy. Yeah, <laughs> well, and and I I can't remember if there was a different comedian voice in the other trailer, but I think they, they Bill Burr. They have a <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I think there are going to be a couple of those guys popping up, and he does look funny. I mean, you know, as the new yeah, like you said, Frank the dog or whatever. You know, the new yeah, it's the replacement or the new animal. Michael Stuhlbarg or whoever. And I also like the the villainous element, like the first men. In, I, I, honestly, I barely. <laughs> the first one <laughs> was, you, you know, the cockroach on, so. with, uh, with, uh, not Edgar Wright. God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Edgar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and then the second one was Laura Lord, Flynn Boyle yeah, and, and, uh, and uh, Johnny Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville, yeah. Uh, this one, we, we don't see who the villain is necessarily. Like, did we? I didn't feel like well, we did. We but saw, have... like, the, the opposing force because it's those shapeshifter guys who can take on anybody's form yeah. and all that. But, but I like they the... don't have one face mm -hmm. attached. I like the concept of the villains too of, you know, of that moment when they're on the jet ski and the flies <laughs> and all they're going up against all the men in black and that's actually something else that i really liked here too whereas the first trailer really felt to me like it was trying to be men in black this one i, I felt more of its specificness more of its what makes it more unique and different yeah. especially in its design choices i felt yeah. a little bit more lizard like alien creatures here yeah. and some cool elements too with uh you know the kind taxi yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Star Trek is a good call. Uh, but yeah, the taxi the too, those like machines that aren't what you think they are because they're always yeah, got, I love that. They got like, I always the love mailbox that. Yeah. in the previous movies and all sorts of stuff. And the guns. The yeah. guns. Well, and yeah, and those to me are beats where I'm like, I really hope that they find a creative way to introduce those and not just be like, oh, hey, yeah. it's a Men in Black thing. They get the big guns, yeah. you know. This movie looks like a lot of fun. I'm not like yeah. dying to see it, but it looks like a lot of fun. All right, guys. Well, before we wrap this video up, I would like to give a patron of the day shout out to a man named Daniel. Gallagher. Daniel, right here, I have your <gasps> Twitter. And I'm gonna screen record this, buddy. He follows us, and now... 
Oh! We follow you. We're going to tweet so often. Now we have to go back through everyone else we shouted out. This <laughs> just, just, and, and paste in all a of segment them. where we follow them and we prove it because we are all about transparency. What are you excited about, Ooh. James Bond, apparently? A lot of Bond on your profile. Oh, wow. Mark, Mark Hamill. Oh, Tony Stark. Okay, wow. You look like you have a very engaging uh, Twitter with you a lot like... of your own unique posts. <laughs> yeah. You really express in your voice out there, and I appreciate that about you, man. Never never stop the dream. Never stop, never stopping. Never stop. <laughs> Guys, you can subscribe to the Reject Nation, click that notification bell, make sure to go check out our Avengers Endgame review. Follow us on Stardust. I have an Instagram and a Twitter, so does John. Uh, you know, just go find a, a, a YouTuber with, like, no followers and watch their videos, because... They're cool too, you know, real people. That's what YouTube was made for. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>